Okay then folks, we're back again here with the FT767GX and uh, I said I was having trouble with the ATU but one of these capacitors, both these capacitors should be completely closed after it goes through the cycle like that, as you can see you can see it like that better, aren't we? There we are, they're both completely closed after going through the said cycle so, how do we get on? Well, there appears to be very, very little adjustment on the potentiometers. Those two potentiometers, point them out again, to you. those two there are supposed to adjust the final position of the capacitors. Whereas this one does a little on the right hand, on this back one, this capacitor here, it does do a little adjustment, it's very minimal and this one I really is pretty well useless now it could well be that the resistor needs replacing I don't know, maybe somebody will tell me but I have a feeling that it is only to align the capacitors when in receive it makes it a little bit easier to line them up in receive. So when you first turn the set on they should be both closed basically. And there are some other positions which they are set in I noticed. So for instance if I were to click the band switch down you will see what happens. Now this at the moment is on uh, 10 megs I'll press it up to uh, 7. Can you see any difference there? No, probably not. Now, that one there has moved slightly. One of these will go about halfway, I believe. There comes the high frames. Right, there we are. So now that is on 14 mix, that capacitor is open halfway. Go on to 10 mix, it goes back to there. And then you've got 7 mix. So the very small, the left hand capacitor is uh, moving very slightly. But very, there we are, just a little tiny bit. On 1.6, it's fully closed on 1.6 by the look of it. So, they just jiggle a little bit, and there it's moved again. Just going through the bands. There we are, and this is that. That is on uh, 14 megs. That, that one opens up halfway. Just to tune up. So that's how it's supposed to work, I believe. So basically, those two resistors, they're not making any much difference at the moment. I suppose they ought to be replaced. I'm uh, guessing only that they won't make any difference to the transmit tuning. It's merely to make it easier to line this up. So now how do we go about lining this up? Well, as I said, you need to have a screwdriver. I'm just going to unplug this. So it's not anything moving around. And I'm going to show you these two grub screws. You need a small screwdriver like this dual screwdriver because there's anything will get in there and there's one there and you see there's one there as well you've got to get those two there's four as you can see there's two two there one there one there these have got to be on top in order for you to tighten them up so I would suggest you don't touch these two it's just these two you need to undo and get that centered okay so and then tighten them up I couldn't see any evidence at all that they slipped it seemed to be fairly tight the only way that it could have perhaps slipped it, it may be I'm thinking in the heat perhaps it got hot at some point or we're transmitting 
and this is plastic. Now, I would have thought it would have been a plastic wooden mount, but there we go. They're only grub screws into a plastic thread, metal grub screws into a plastic thread. So maybe they do get a bit loose. And if this bearing here, you see this is this is a shaft that goes into a metal bearing. If that gets, oh, I'm not sure what sort of bearing that is. It seems like it's just a greased shaft on both of those. If that seizes up, then I could imagine this could shift around the shaft. Without taking the whole thing apart, I couldn't really say what happened. But it was rather odd that it was 180 degrees out on that one. Um, anyway, I've now put it back together again on that. And now we're going to see if it will tune up properly when it comes to transmit. So at least it's in the right place. And at least they are actually turning it right now. So I'm, I'm thinking that I'll double check that there's some lubricant in that metal shaft. Okay. On both of these. Because obviously if it does seize up it'll put strain on the motor and on the gearbox. And this may well, under certain conditions, if it gets a bit warm in here, which it most likely does, um, it may well slip. Which... Uh, could have been the problem, plus the fact it was seized. So there we are. Still haven't found out what that switch does. Doesn't seem to do anything in particular. I've tried it in various things, situations. I'll just show you again, just so you can see if you haven't seen the other video. Put it back in again. Okay, I'm just going to press. You've got to press. Make sure the tuner buttons on. It's upside down, sorry, it's the way it undoes. Okay, antenna tuner is on and then you press start. When you do that, this is what happens. It goes through a cycle. It should end up with them both closed. The two resistors I've just shown you should be out, according to what I've read in the manual, should enable you to make the final adjustment to make sure they're completely closed. But it, I can't get them to it, so I had to do it all manually and using those two grub screws. And now, as you can see, it does appear to be okay. So, will it tune up? We'll see you later. See you in the next video.